Hello and welcome back to the second lesson of the course. Ok, let's carry on where we left off. We'll go to the circle and here in Intermediate Points select Uniform. Now let's go to the hair. Go to Guides and to refresh what we are doing before, in editing just go to regrow. And then the number of tentacles is updated and we can continue. Go to simulate. So, for example, we could select Wind to add an effect where it looks like the tentacles are moving, depending on the strength of the wind we apply. Ok, to do this, remove the instances and generate, and in Forces, we'll put the wind inside and set it to include. Now increase the wind quite a lot and when we press play we'll see a very exaggerated effect. We lower the intensity a bit. Play again, go to Wind and remove a zero from the speed. It looks better but we still need to increase the number of frames. So we go here and input around 500. This way we've increased it and from here we can handle the time. And the time has now increased considerably. Ok, that's fine. But as you can see the tentacles go up way too much. So let's put the wind back down to 250 and increase the turbulence frequency. Let's take a look. Lower the wind down quite a lot, set the turbulence to 1500 and also lower the frequency. Hit play and let's raise the axis of the wind so the tentacles move gradually. Now we move to the wind downwards and scale it and you can start to see how it's all taking shape. Let's hide this because we only want to work on the hair. 
So let's hide the rest of the elements. Now we can start to edit the hair itself. Go to Simulate Hair Tools. Detach this so we can see the panel properly and let's make some adjustments. If you select the Move mode, you can obviously move the hair. But right now we'll go to Scale. Just lower the radius of the brush and start adjusting those points so that some are longer than others. Now we can select Move and increase this value here. We can move the tentacles to vary their shape and direction. This way the tentacles will start already in movement, they won't start from a neutral position. You've probably noticed that we only have these points to move. But if you go to Simulate, Tips is selected, which is the end of the hair. But if you activate Points, more points are activated, which you can now edit. Like this, we can achieve a more organic looking shape that makes more sense. At the top, there isn't much to move. This part is attached to the body of the jellyfish. Move a little bit more around here. Here in Strength, you can adjust the force and the intensity of the movements. We might want to lower this value to control what we are doing properly. Go to Mode and for instance, in Repel, we can make some tentacles further away from others. Delete, and we can cut the hair. All of these are like brushes for the hair. Now go to hair. We want this part to be seen. In Hair, Generate, go to Type and select Circle. As you can see, a kind of hair has been created. And now if you go to the Editor, inside Generate, you can check or uncheck this box to see a preview of our image. Let's make the elements that we hit visible again. And now let's take a look at how our image is coming along.
If we let the program process the entire image, then we see that there are lots of tentacles. So we could lower the amount to 50 or even 40. And now it's taking shape. Increase the segments to 15 and let's leave it at that. With all this, we could go to the material that's been created here, as these tentacles are made from a shape and these ones are made from hair. So to make the thickness of that hair, we have this window here that opens. Go to Thickness. See how it looks now? Observe that if we put 50 in here, the diameter increases a lot. So we can try out different numbers, maybe 5 or even 4. So this is a question of personal preference really. Maybe you prefer the tentacles to be thicker or thinner. Here in Curve is where we have the actual shape of the tentacle. It could end in a point or start with a larger diameter. By changing this parameter, this point is sharper. In this case, we don't really want this effect to be so exaggerated, so we'll adjust this. And now let's create a material. Activate the transparency. And here in transparency, make it quite see-through, quite transparent. Let's give it a green color and apply this material. Apply it to the hair and let's see how it looks. Okay, we'll leave it here for now. We've made the tentacles, touched on some physics with the wind and also the hair. In the next lesson, we'll carry on with the modeling of the jellyfish. So, see you there!